Hello everyone. Um, first off, I'd like to say welcome to my channel if you're new. Um, if you're not new, you obviously already know who I am. But if you don't, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Chance, or more commonly known on YouTube as Cyrax. Um, and this video is about my bullying story and how it almost cost me to take my own life and actually made me attempt to take my own life. If you guys don't know, I am a survivor of suicide twice over within the last year because of being bullied. It all started about eight months ago with this person named Asshole Reports who I did not know was an evil person. I was on my former friend's Music Biz Marty's live stream when this girl named Kate Peters showed interest in me and I come to find out later during that stream that she was totally crazy and I had cut ties with her and I guess she got upset or something. Well, what Kate did, I never saw coming. Kate almost ruined my life. For good. It all started eight months ago when this girl who claimed that she was going to be 18 within an hour called me from a phone number that I did not recognize talking about how she was a fan of my music, how it helped her get through bullying. And she said that she was a senior in high school, getting ready to graduate that next day. Um, and she had told me about how she was being bullied really badly that day and asked me what are some things that she could do to, you know, deal with it. And I gave her a few tips on, you know, what I did back when I was in high school on to avoid on you know, how to either avoid the bullying or how to deal with them if you can't avoid them. So me and her started talking for like an hour, hour and a half, maybe two tops. And she had showed interest in me. And like we talked for literally like two and a half hours straight. And then she had told me that she had to go because she had to get ready for tomorrow. I'm like, not a problem. But what happened next, I was not ready for. Later that same day, she had texted me letting me know that she was done getting ready. Well, she had told me that she was getting ready to be 18 within that hour. And because she was getting ready to be 18, she wanted to know if I would go out with her. And I said yes. Now, this girl did trick me into sending explicit photos and videos to her as she was 18 basically by that point there was nothing wrong now what this what this girl did shook me to my core and made me fear for my future and my family.
if many of you don't know, I I do not work right now because I do help to take care of my parents who are both elderly. I've been doing it for the last two to three years, so I don't really have an income other than what I know how to do with my music and my art and stuff. But that's besides the point. Um, this girl had sent me a picture of an underage child with no clothes on at all. And then turned around and told me she was 14 years of age. By that point, my heart sank into my stomach. I was scared. I was afraid. I didn't know what to do. I was freaking out. Um, the police did get called that night. Um, the police showed up here, asked me what was going on. I showed them the entire conversation of what was said and everything. Then when I was talking to the police, I get a message from one of my good friends who is going to remain nameless because I don't want any trouble for them. They had sent me a link to Mass Hole Reports YouTube channel. But at that point, I did not know who this person was. So I clicked on the video to watch and I had pulled it up right there in front of the police and in front of my family so everybody could see. And what I saw next changed my life forever and made me sick to my stomach. Because there on that screen was the girl that I knew as Kate Peters laughing at me and laughing about how she had just trolled me and how she thought it was funny that I fell for something like that. I look at the officers and I ask them, am I going to jail? And thankfully they looked back at me and they said, no, you're not going to jail. They told me these exact words that if I were to go there and this person, this 14 year old really did exist and I actually went there to meet up with her, then yes, I would go to jail. But seeing as it was a troll, they were not going to take me to jail. They did feel bad for me and they told me just to be more careful of who I talk to from now on, which I have been. But for the next few months to follow, things got way worse. About a week after that, I had went on to confront Kate, who was now known as Masshole Reports. I confronted her and asked her why she did what she did. And all she would do was mute me while I was on panel with her on a live stream. She kept muting me and laughing and muting me and laughing. Like it was some sort of sick joke to her. And because of her doing that, so that when she did to me, I have even now have been being called a pedophile when I am not one. 
Now, over the last few months, I've done some digging and some research and found out that Kate Peters belongs to this community called the Troll Community, which are full of dangerous and very disrespectful people. Um, these people have been trolling and harassing people on the internet since the early 2000s. And the most notable case is this guy by the name of Chris Chan, whom these people have been harassing since 2001. But fast forward past Kate up to about three months ago. In comes in this guy named William Glory Hole. Who starts harassing me, sending death threats to my families, um, sending very disgusting and disturbing items in the mail, one of which was an adult toy, and the next thing made me so sick to my stomach, which was this man had the nerve to take hay and mix it with dog poop and put it in a baggie and send it to me. But not only have these people done that, these people have taken it so far to the point to where I had attempted to end my own life twice on these bullies' panels while confronting them. Thankfully, I had good friends and family to stop me. These people have gone as far as to attack my family. These people have put me on a site known as Kiwi Farms and have been exploiting me. They have been passing around explicit photos and videos that were in my private messages on Facebook from my old account that had been since then been memorialized. Every time somebody stands up for me, these people attack them. I get blown up on my phone at all hours of the night. I've had people show up at my house wanting to kill me. One that was such a severe case that the person had to be ex had to be escorted off of our property by a police officer. These people have tried to steal things from me. If you guys don't know, I am also a music artist. And back in 2018, I released two electronic albums called, Dub called Blackout and Evolution, along with a few singles and one song which of I did singing on, which was a pop slash punk rock kind of song. These people have attempted to steal my music and claim it as their own. These people have tried to silence me by hacking my YouTube account. And most recently, these people have taken videos from other channels, broken into my account, posted them, and then reported me for those videos. These people have attacked my now ex-girlfriend by posting her private information up, such as her hospital records. They have attacked various members of my family. I have lost my job with my former best friend, Enoch. Um, I was actually an audio engineer for my friend Enoch. I took care of 
um, menu music and in-game music and boss fight music for a video game company that he had built. He wanted to start creating games and I told him that I would help him. Um, because of these people, I am not allowed to get a job anywhere. Because everybody in town knows me and knows who I am now and will not hire me. I have lost many opportunities to do things with my life. Um, because of these people, no record label wants to sign me. Um, I have lost sponsorship deals, brand deals because of these people. I have lost my best friend of 10 years, Sean Sands, because of this. Um, I lost my friendship with the owner of the former record label that I was with, which is the legendary artist Tupac's old label which is Machiavelli Records. I was with that label for a time, and the owner has, since then, because of these people, they have, you know, stopped talking to me and blocked me on all social media. These people have stolen, I don't know how much money from me, that fans have paid to get merchandise that I've paid to get music from me, artwork that I've done. These people have ruined my life. They have bullied me so much. And I would not wish this kind of bullying on my worst enemy. These people are very evil people. And anybody who stands up for me and tries to defend me, these people will attack their friends, attack their families by any means possible, and they do not care. These people have gone as far as to post private videos of my family. These people have stolen private photos of my family members and have posted them. These people are legitimate bullies and the police and the FBI are not doing anything to stop them. But I would like to stop them. But in order to do that, I need your guys' help. So if anybody out there is watching this right now, if you are a victim of people such as William Gory Hole or Mass Hole Reports, please come forward, speak up. I encourage all of you to come forward and speak up against these bullies. Because no one deserves to get put through what I've gotten put through. When I asked these people, why did they bully me? They sit there and they laugh at me and say, because they can. I asked Massel Reports why she did what she did. And she simply said, because she can. Because she's untouchable. Because of these people, I have attempted to take my own life on two different occasions. Both of them were on live streams because of these people. Because I felt like giving up. 
So if anybody out there who is a victim of these people, please, I urge you, step up, make a video, say something. Let's shed some light on these bullies. Let's, let's, let's bring these bullies to a stop and build a better community of people. Because I want to be able to inspire people again. I want to be able to create music that you guys can enjoy once again. Music that you guys can relate to. That you guys can connect with. And that's what I want for this channel. But in order for that to happen, I need you guys to be strong and be brave. And come forward and comment below. Have you been bullied by these people at all? If so, please come forward and speak up. No one will judge you. Because like you guys, I want this bullying with these people to stop. But I can't do it alone. If you have been bullied, you can either post it in the comments or if you do not feel comfortable posting it in the comments, in the comments, like in the description area, will be the link to my personal Discord community where you guys can come in and hang out and speak your piece without being judged or attacked. Also below is an example of what these people have done to me. Below will be an ex will be the link to William Glory Hole's channels, to both channels, Mass Hole Reports channel, as well as the link to a thread from a site known as Kiwi Farms where these people have brutally harassed me. These people have bullied me. These people have posted all kinds of very messed up things about me. But as I said, if any of you out there watching this have been bullied, please speak up. Don't be silent anymore. Let's put these people in jail where they belong and show them that they cannot get away with bullying anymore. I know you're scared. I know that you're that so you were scared and afraid to speak up and I understand and I don't blame you. But right now I need every one of you to be strong and do what's right, which is to speak up. Please. Help me put these people away so that we can build a community and inspire others to do the same thing with bullying. Let's put a stop to it. Let's put a stop to these bullies. Thank you guys for allowing me to share my story with you guys. I hope that this explains why these people bully me. And I hope that those of you that are victims of these people do come forward. And you know that you're not alone at all. You have a community here of people that love you and care about you. So please, if there are any victims out there of these people, please come forward and speak your piece, whether it be in the comments or on my personal Discord. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and thank you for being awesome. I love you guys. Peace.